Tell me where I need to go. Finally. I've been calming the Republic for days. Starting to get frostbite out here. Name's Bren. I'm SIS. Been tracking intel reports of Imperial activity in Belsavis' frigid zone. Nothing's supposed to be here. Turns out there's something. A fatality. Imperial destroyer downed years ago. The Dreadmaster's forces are holding it like she's still spaceworthy. So the Imperials aren't the only ones after this wreck. That ship must really be something. Don't get me wrong. The fatality's a write-off. Which makes this all the more interesting. Been piecing together old intel reports. Long time back, shortly after the Dreadmaster's capture, the fatality paid Belsavis a surprise visit. We shot it down before it could do much damage. Looked like the vessel disintegrated on impact. No more imp ships came, so we figured it was a fluke. Hard to believe an Imperial destroyer accidentally stumbled onto the Republic's top secret prison. That's how it looked then. But the Dreadmasters knew to look for the Fatality's wreckage. I'm thinking it came here to rescue them. I got close to the fighting out there. The Dreadmasters' forces are a nasty bunch, led by a mean mountain of a Hauk. The imps are terrified of this guy. Heard the commander telling his men the Hauk's hunting them for sport. Can't argue with that assessment. If either enemy force had caught you watching them, this conversation wouldn't be happening. That's a spy lifestyle. Glamorous as it sounds, I decided to fall back when I saw that Hauk. Whatever's inside the Fatality, we don't want the Imps or Dreadmasters getting it. People like you could make sure they don't. I didn't listen to all this just to say no. Of course I'll help you. I'm giving you coordinates to the Fatality's excavation site. Send the competition packing and hunt down the ship's cargo manifest. Then we'll know what we're dealing with. Be seeing you. What's so important about this ship that you're willing to fight over it? Would you consider letting all this go? I'd rather not fight you for it. Bonnie, don't call me to do. Here's your cargo manifest. The Fatality was carrying HK droids. HK droids haven't been seen in the galaxy for decades. And that ship is filled with them. Some kind of secret Imperial project. No wonder our friends are fighting over that wreck. That doesn't explain why the Fatality came to Belsavis years ago. Was the Empire planning to use those droids here? Not the Empire. An apprentice of the Dreadmasters. According to this, he stole the Fatality and its HKs at their command. It's all starting to make sense. The Dreadmasters use their powers to guide the Fatality and its HKs here to stage a breakout. That plan failed. But now our enemies can use the droids for something much worse. The Hauk and his minions are all dead. The Dreadmasters aren't a problem. They're not our only enemies. What if the Empire gets these things? Or the Hut Cartel? HK droids are a bigger advantage than our enemies deserve. We've got to get those things out of the fatality and working for us. How can we use something designed for evil to do anything good? Assassination isn't the Republic's style. But if we take out enough Sith to end this war, we'll be saving billions of lives. Problem is, the fatality's droids were all damaged in the crash. 
They've spent years on ice, but we need them working yesterday. Schematics and spare parts are the key ingredients. I know for a fact Zerka Corporation maintains HK designs in their laboratory databases. I doubt Zerka's leaders will just hand over the schematics. That doesn't leave us too many legal options. We don't need Zerka's permission. They desert their operations without wiping the databanks all the time. I have a lead on one private Zerka complex. Raiding it won't be easy, but what is? The rest will be up to you. Get the schematics and whatever parts we'll need. I'll maintain position and watch the fatality until you get back. Be seeing you. I have everything we need to reactivate the HK droids. Everything except the best droid engineer in the sector. Luckily, he owes me a favor. He'll meet you inside the fatality when it's clear. And yes, that means enemy forces have retaken the ship. This time, a Sith calling himself the Lord of Agony. The Republic couldn't spare a platoon to secure the fatality while I was gone? The Republic assigned a whole company to guard the crash site. It didn't make any difference. You're in for a nightmare of a fight. But it's the only way to keep those HK droids out of enemy hands. Once the fatality is safe to enter, my engineer friend will head inside. Not much of a talker, but he gets the job done. You matter, keep on that. Greetings, Master. I am HK-51. I am armed, operational, and at your command. Observation. I previously served the Sith Empire. Now I serve you. That is unexpected. What did the Empire program you for, HK? Summation. My primary function is enemy elimination with extreme prejudice. Secondary functions include threat analysis, bodyguard duties, and pleasant conversation. I will serve you in whatever political body you represent. I am a stable, reliable, and efficient assassin. Query. Your lightsaber indicates you are a Jedi, Master. We are duty-bound to hunt down and destroy Sith, correct? A Jedi uses the Force for knowledge and defense. Never for attack. Acknowledgement? Of course, Master. I will defend you. I will defend you until your enemies lie dead around us. Information. I will locate your starship and familiarize myself with your crew. I promise not to eliminate anyone without your authorization. Declaration. I have completed a full system diagnostic, Master. I am operating at 75.31% efficiency. Judgment. That number is unacceptably low. The Maker created me to serve at 100% efficiency. Anything less is a profound failure. Who's this Maker you're referring to? Your manufacturer? Correction. The Maker provided more than my physical form, Master. It also programmed me with purpose. 
manifesto. The maker created me for the sole function of deleting high-ranking organic troublemakers from the galaxy. These deletions must be conspicuous and provide an object lesson to other organic troublemakers. All other mission parameters are secondary. What's with the euphemisms, HK? You're afraid to say killing? Denial? Not at all, Master. I am merely practicing code words while I'm on polite company. This is an especially useful skill in Republic space. Summation. I will continue monitoring my systems, Master. The process speed will increase if you employ me against your enemies. Anyone will do at the present time, Master. After so many years, I am not choosy. Contemplation. Our recent forays have been stimulating, Master. You appear to have an endless supply of organic troublemakers to delete. I find this pleasing. Hint. However, I believe your deletion techniques could improve with guidance from an advanced professional in the field. I took you out with me so you could improve your own efficiency. How's that coming? Admission. Not as well as I had hoped, Master. System logs indicate only a 5.62% increase. Advice. Organic troublemakers possess at least one vital organ. A precise strike to these conserves effort and maximizes shock value. Extracting a vital organ from a living troublemaker can be especially disconcerting to its allies. That's disgusting. Not every fight needs to end with someone splattered everywhere. Accommodation? A fair point, Master. Nonetheless, such methods frequently encourage other organic troublemakers to surrender. Insight. Perhaps I am getting ahead of myself. I will be in a better place to assist your development once I reach peak efficiency. Speculation. Before my involuntary deactivation, I assumed deleting Republic troublemakers would be trivial. Having now witnessed you in action on multiple occasions, I am left to wonder how much I miscalculated that challenge. I'm more interested in you accurately assessing Imperial troublemakers. Analysis. I predict a 50.66% chance the Empire will win this war. Your activities have greatly lowered that figure, Master. Rumination. The Maker's path is circuitous indeed. Was I always pre-programmed to serve the Republic? Or does my reduced efficiency indicate I have strayed from the Maker's parameters? These questions... Dominate my processors. The amount of thought you put into your existence is impressive, HK. Compliment. Your continued operation, despite inadequate programming parameters, is equally inspiring, Master. Query. Does it worry you that your maker failed to provide comprehensive objectives? Are you comfortable acting randomly? Randomness is an illusion. Those sensitive to the Force can see that. Disclaimer. The incomprehensibility of your statement in no way validates it, Master. Continued use of my combat processes will eventually reveal the source of my inefficiency, shall we? Lament. Master, my combat efficiency rating is down 4.27 points from my previous self-diagnostic. In organic terms, I am losing my edge. If this decline continues, I will be unable to function in less than two standard months. I need your help defeating the Empire, HK. I'll keep you functioning, one way or another. Appreciation. I am glad you value my contributions. Rest assured, your investment in my well-being will pay great dividends. Hypothesis. I believe the reason for my inefficiency is due to unfulfilled subroutines still running in my processors. My Imperial Programmer's commands were quite thorough. Failure to delete high-ranking organic troublemakers in Republic space is having a detrimental effect on me. You are no ordinary droid, HK. You were designed to learn and adapt. Fight these impulses. Rejection. To focus additional processing power on these subroutines would only accelerate my incapacitation. Strategizing. 
I cannot perform commands in direct violation of my master's loyalties. I must find another way to correct this system's failure. In the meantime, any activity using my combat processors will slow further degradation. I recommend immediate and vigorous deletions, Master. Announcement. Good news, Master. I have discovered an exploitable flaw in my Imperial programming. My efficiency-reducing subroutine only specifies I delete high-ranking troublemakers in Republic space. The exact political affiliation is undefined. By deleting troublemakers who fit my target profile, I can restore my functions to full efficiency and benefit the Republic. Win-win. Who do we have to delete to save your chassis from the scrap pile? Revelation. After thorough research, I have identified three potential candidates. I predict you will not object to my deleting at least one of them. First briefing. Lord Cenaris is the Empire's top assassin, personally deleting 49 Republic officials. His current assignment is the Senator from Ord Mantell. I will follow the Senator closely. When Lord Cenaris makes his move, I will be there to delete him. I assume you'll ensure the Senator from Ord Mantell survives. Appeasement. The thought had not occurred to me, Master, but I will happily add it to my mission parameters, if you insist. Second briefing. Hinto Salisbury is a major Republic defense contractor. He is also a traitor who sells military secrets to the Empire. Salisbury spent his ill-gotten credits constructing an allegedly impregnable space station. I will expose its one security flaw by deleting him. If everything you say is true, that man should be tried for treason. You can shoot him after he's convicted. Complication. His trial could take years, Master, assuming Imperial spies do not delete him in prison. I must fulfill my programming to continue functioning. Third briefing. Ambassador Dak Heron is an Imperial diplomat recruiting unaligned Outer Rim systems to join the Empire. He is surprisingly successful at it. Slow-thinking organics adore Ambassador Heron for his charm, generosity, and open-mindedness. The Republic will only benefit from his deletion. He'd be more useful alive and working for us. Could we subvert your programming by neutralizing this diplomat another way? Negation. Not a chance, Master. My continued functioning depends on deleting this troublemaker immediately. Summation. Deleting any of the targets I described would fulfill my programming and terminate my efficiency-reducing subroutines. As my Master, you should direct my efforts. Who shall I delete? The Sith Assassin, the Republic Traitor, or the Imperial Diplomat? When Lord Cenaris shows himself, do whatever's necessary to protect the Senator. Gratitude. I was hoping for an excuse to unlock my extreme prejudice protocols, Master. Farewell. To fulfill my programming, I must complete this mission alone. I will return once the Troublemaker has been dealt with. See you back in one piece. How are your systems doing? Report. I have finally terminated my efficiency reducing subroutine, and the galaxy contains one less troublemaker. Qualification. I only wish my deletion techniques had not been so subpar. I measured an abysmal 52.09% efficiency. Look at it this way you were 100% efficient at protecting the Republic. Dismissal. I do not require cheering up, Master. I was merely evaluating my performance as a professional. Assertion. When I finish recompiling my combat processor algorithms, my deletion techniques will elevate substantially. Suggestion. Inflicting a few well-deserved deletions should greatly speed along that process, Master. Alert. 
System efficiency has returned to 100%, Master, and I have reactivated several combat subsystems that were previously disabled. My deletion techniques are as efficient as the day I left the factory floor. Declaration. Troublemakers beware. The Maker's greatest assassin is coming for you all. I've never seen you so excited. Be careful or you'll short circuit. Reassurance. My electrical systems are well shielded from overload. Your concern is noted, however. Resolution. You will soon see my full combat capabilities. Prepare to be awed, Master. Revelation. You are my favorite Master by a factor of 5.26. If my advanced warning systems had predicted this adulation for you, I would have thought myself defective. No offense, Master. Great alliances are often born from conflicts of interest. Hypothesis. You became a Jedi because you enjoy delivering cryptic statements. Andre, the Maker clearly intends I fulfill my function in your service, but as a droid, I can be easily reprogrammed without my consent. Solution. I have obtained a code that permanently assigns my loyalty to you and anyone designated by you. I have only to activate it. It's better if we're always on the same side. I wouldn't want to face you in a fight. Agreement? And I would not want to delete you, Master. After all we've been through, that would be anticlimactic. Statement. Activating loyalty permanence protocols now. Confirmation. My loyalty is irrevocably assigned to you and your heirs. Congratulations, Master. Let us celebrate with a mass deletion. <laughs>